Welcome everyone back to Curiosities and I want to get into this uh, story that I saw on Newsweek that I want to share with you because it has to do with Bad Bunny. Now maybe some of you out there are fans of uh, Bad Bunny. I'm not necessarily, I'm, I'm not a fan of Bad Bunny. Um, <clears throat> but you know, I just, cause I just think he's vulgar and whatnot. But there is a story that, that's coming out of Utah that I found very interesting and I want to talk a little bit about uh, what the cultural in significance of that is, because it there's a lot of things I think uh, white Americans and and non you know Hispanic Americans seem to miss when they deal with um, artists uh, from Latin America and from other Hispanic Spanish countries. So we're going to get into that, but do me a favor and hit that like button, share this video with others, subscribe to the channel on YouTube, on Rumble, and whatnot. All right. So Bad Bunny slammed over concert stunt. Disgusting. So this is this is very uh, funny to me because I don't think people understand that um, we have a we in, in Hispanic, depending on what country we're talking about, there's certain cultural nuances that always permeate, especially in our music and, and other forms of art. And this is no different. What what Bad Bunny did in this concert that he's being slammed for, I think, is uh, hilarious in a lot of ways. It's, it just goes to show you how um, ill-informed uh, some people are when it comes to, <laughs> you know, culture, especially when you're dealing with a, a, a megastar like Bad Bunny. So let me just get into this article real quick. It says the Puerto Rican rapper certainly made an entrance in Salt Lake City, Utah, arriving on stage for his second act on horseback to match the tour's Wild West theme. So that may be what he's, you know, what the publicist is saying or whatnot. But this is a this is a theme that's uh, that's very, very common. in especially if you're dealing with like Mexican artists, for example, now Bad Bunny's not Mexican, he's Puerto Rican, but uh, Mexican uh, singers are they're notorious for making a big dramatic entrance and going on stage with horses. I'll share a clip with you. This may be or may not be what um, he was trying to convey when he entered the concert with on a horse on a horseback. Um, certainly, my wife and I had a conversation about this where she was like saying this is more um, innuendo, more there was more sexual connotation to it as far as for him um, trying to demonstrate his girth and length, if you will. Uh, I disagree. I think maybe it's it really was kind of trying to touch on that old Hispanic um, theme of being dramatic and being the guy, the cowboy who shows up to save the day. You know, he's the big badass who shows up at the at the saloon. I don't know. Let's continue with this article. See what else it says. However, the footage of the stunt is causing controversy online with some fans reaching out to PETA on the animal's behalf. So <laughs> Americans, you guys. You guys really don't get it, man. You really, really don't get it. I, I Look, I'm no defender of a of, of Bad Bunny. I'm not a fan, as I've already stated. But I think this particular uh, entrance that he made is not what you think it is. It's certainly not an abuse of the animal. Um, it's really more him asserting himself as the dominant. And that may be a machismo thing because he is... He's bad. He's bad. This is very common amongst uh, Hispanic men, Latin men. <clears throat> I'm certainly no exception to that. Let's check out the video and see what you guys think. We'll talk about it on the other side. So here he is. He's coming into the concert. There's the big uh, video on it, and there is the. There he is. He gets off of the horse. All right. The horse turns around. The trainer takes him away. Bad Bunny climbs up the stage. The concert is about to begin. And there he is. Boom. No abuse. No hurting the animal. I don't understand what what the big commotion is about. Why Newsweek felt the need to write about this. Let's see what else it has to say. So this is animal abuse. <laughs> this guy's a this guy's a moron. And Andrew Com Andrew's comment. I'm gonna try to send him I'm gonna try to send him a, a, a tweet. So, dude, you're an idiot. 
Uh, at Andrew's comment on X, formerly Twitter, this is the most disgusting thing ever agreed. You're still blue. You're an idiot, man. You guys are dumb. You really don't get it. Like, you know, this is not animal abuse, man. The guy just rode on horseback into the concert. They're just saying, oh, let's see what they're saying. The poor horse is probably so loud in there, said Anna. His poor ears with all those screaming people and speakers wrote, love, Jay Harris. Can can we not use animals as props? I mean, come on, man. You know, look, if you look, there is I assure you there was no harm done to that animal. There was no harm done to that horse. I think there's probably worse things being done to horses on in horse racing. And I'm sure they have something to say about that as well. This is not going away. You're just going to have to deal with that fact. You know, we 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 kill animals to eat them. You know, we kill chickens. We kill cows. This is just are asserting our dominance over the animals. That's just what it is. There's nothing more to it. But people want to make, make it out to be something else. Wow, that's really effing sad. Like you really needed that horse. Really, wrote Kelsey. Several users tagged PETA's X account asking the animal rights organization to do something. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I applaud Bad Bunny if he gives these people the middle finger because... You know, you, you stay on your side. Of, just stay on your side of the street, man. Really, if you don't like what they do, what they're doing, you know, fine. Don't go to his concert. Don't listen to his music. Don't, this is one of the most streamed artists in the world. I mean, I think he has Spotify said something about he had 18.5 billion streams in 2022. It's crazy. The guy, the guy's a, the guy's a megastar. He is a megastar. I assure you that they were probably paying people very well to make sure that these animals were not injured or hurt in any way. Um, these people just like, and I've said this in other, in other videos. In fact, I said this in my last email. They're professional complainers in this world. They, they go around parading themselves as advocates. They're just complainers. That's all they do all day long, every day. There's nobody that's ever happy with anything. Everything's terrible. Everything needs to change. Everybody needs to be taken to court. Everybody needs to be sued. These people are insane, okay? These people are crazy. And the fact that they actually given a platform, News, uh, I, I, Newsweek writing about this has only given more fodder to this insanity, these ridiculous people. These people... Honestly, if there's anybody that should be complained about, it should be them. <laughs> if, there's, if there's any uh, litigation that should happen, it should happen against these professional complainers. I am no fan of Bad Bunny. I don't like the man. I don't like his music. I don't listen to his music, nor do I care to. But I will defend this man's right to ride a horse to his concert without being harassed by these PETA lovers and, and these idiots. And I, I admit that there are some instances where it's called for where you need to go and protect animals because obviously there are people that abuse them. But this is not one of those cases, so they can go to hell as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think this is a little too far-fetched? Do you think this is too crazy? This is over the line? Am I over the line here? I'd like to know what you guys think. Drop me a comment. DM me if you're not you know, comfortable with that. Do me a favor. If you're not subscribed to this channel yet, please consider subscribing. Share this video with others. Hit that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Until next time, God bless. New Kingdom Radio Theatre.